good to go. Can he find the jump though? That's the question. It's a little hard on Savage though, because Savage, he does have that Aegis. Kuka's going to drop it down anyway, taking down the ones. See if they could do it a second time. They've got a lot of heroes in there. Have got the static storm prepared. White Mon drops it down, and an excellent move there from Geek Found will result in taking the Aegis away and his life as they knock 23 Savage out of the game. Raven trying to set up for more here oh, from Song of the Siren. Already, Carl's been able to pick off jabs on the back line. The Song setting up for Carl and Kuku to come in. They jump forward onto the Rubik. The Soul Mine connects the two of them. Geek Found, they'll be able to find DJ. They do lose Cuckoo for this one. Can they get more? Raven turning over towards Moon. Moon having the stumble move by Ice 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 with the Aphotic Shield. Ice 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 trying to chase down White Mon. Moon charging over towards Raven. Ice 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 finishes off White Mon there with a the final miss coil. I just feel like I've seen so many times Raven just, just be able to win these sort of games. As long as Raven's having a good time in farm. He will be able to carry it. It just, it just depends if the sort of Naga Siren counters the Fnatic have this game are going to be strong enough to deal with him as mid. Raven oh, no. just steps up. He's able to kill one. Is he going to use the song here? And the Illusions, they're just tearing through jab jabs. Will pop the lasso, but he gets blown up by the Sonic Wave. Static hey, Storm's in place as well on Savage, but Savage has his BKB. Pops the BKB. Turns over towards Cuckoo. K's able to get in, grab the Arcane Rune. Ice 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 looking to commit onto Cuckoo. They'll take down the Doom. Can they go for more? If Fnatic chasing on Ice Ice Ice, relying on the borrowed time to keep himself in on top of White Mon, Waveform forward, Savage finds the Disruptor, double kill for them all, but the silence is out, Zephyr's gonna get in with the stun of Raven, he's on top of the Warthog, the mana's gone, they're gonna be able to beat down Savage, Savage, he's trying to get out with the TP, but the bash is there, they do lose a third here on Geek Fab, but they get the big kill, Raven, go, getting the kill onto Savage, a huge pickup against this Morphling, Fnatic to go in like this, and White Mon has to turn around, oh, they're gonna try, but the Lingus is there, now with the song. Raven's just gonna set up. The rest of Fnatic there, they're backing away. They're keeping their distance. Japs, he is gonna get left behind as the bat falls, and the rest of Fnatic is probably in their best interest to just run. I don't know if they can take this fight. They do turn Moon. He's in trouble here, gets slammed down. Has got the Lotus for now. Dragged back to the side, into the secondary. Stun Moon, he's trying to turn this. Cuckoo's BKB is coming to an end. Geek Fam, they are actually running away from this. They, they, they are scared of Moon. I mean, Moon has the full up between the Bloodstone. It is a lot of damage. He's going to lead forward onto the Disruptor. The Orchid will be removed by the Lotus. Static Storm's down, but Moon, he's already got the kill onto the Disruptor. Still remains stuck in the Storm for now. But Moon is just so tanky right now with these items. The Dark Portrait, though, it's going to kill him. The Dark Portrait of Zephyr just tears apart the Let's Drag. As Moon goes down, he was not ready for that level of physical damage to come out. And now Geek Fam, they're ready to re-engage. They jump forward over onto White Side Side. Savage goes in onto Cave with the wave. The the stun out from Kuku catches the two of them. Raven's coming in for the side. The Doom's down onto Savage. Savage will fall slowly, later, but surely he's gone. And Geek Fam, they're gonna chase further. The stroke catches Ice Ice Ice. Nice, 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 very low jabs. Never start poking back. In fact, jabs is going to jump over towards Zephyr, but Raven, he's still by Zephyr's side. Jabs has to be careful. Popping the BKB again. Another dark portrait out this time at the bat and just bullying jabs back. Oh, that, that fight was all ice, ice, ice. He was able to keep both Savage and Moon alive the entire fight. It could have gone way worse for Fnatic, hard defense for Fnatic, and especially that new spot back. If they lose this last right, this game is pretty much going to be done deal for Geek Fan. He's gonna get caught out by the Hex, the Dark Portrait on him as well, the Song from Raven, here's the setup, oh and it's gonna be burnt for the field, the Static Storm catches Moon and DJ, Moon is dead for two minutes, no buyback, DJ falls also without any way getting back into the game, it's only down to the last three to hold on to this, Jabs trying to gel, drag back K in the found and Savage just dies immediately to Raven and his illusions as GG is called, Geek Fan will take this game one, and at the end of the day it really was just a Another perfect setup for Raven this game. 12, 1, and 15 on the Naga Siren. Easily able to be that big carry. And over. Yeah. He's, he's uh, going he's up the ranks, DJ. He's, he's almost level 20. That's the big one. He, yeah. He's going to have. It's like the permanent silence that comes out almost from waiting rip. Mid. Oh, look at that call. It may not surprise you, but it is Ice. This time, Ice has got his friends in town. He's got the backup. They won't be able to kill Ice this time around. As Savage and Moon are here. They'll turn over towards Raven. Dream Boil Ball three. from DJ's out. It's the three silence. White Mon sits at the back. Starts the throw of the Mortimus Kiss at the BKB's out from Raven. The jewel's out. It's DJ. They're taking out the puck.
See what more they can find here. Geek found this touch on the jab, slowing him down. This Scotty from Raven setting up for potentially another. He gets the illusions out and jabs will fall in the river. Ice, ice, ice. His borrowed time still on cooldown as they'll find themselves a third. Raven with this BKB holding his ground. And this was always what you, you've got to be scared of if you're fanatic. This Terra Blade is going to become a nightmare. Full MKB finish now, as well as an AC. So big timings coming out for Geek Fam. What? Fnatic's gonna try and go. Smoke up, DJ's in. It's gonna just look for the quick kill on Zephyr. Set up there with the Dream Call. They do manage nice to force him away to the safety and the cookie. They try their best to save him, but won't work. Now Savage is very deep. The rage is worn off. Savage is getting hit by the bottom of his kisses. He's dead. Oh, Savage is down. Moon as well in the front. He's also falling incredibly low. See you later, guys. All right, that time around. You know, we do like to talk about the great plays of DJ, but he kind of baited his team into a, a bit of a nasty situation that time round. DJ trying to commit onto Zephyr and it ends up with three of his heroes dead. I think they may have just lost, they just lost Rax because of that. There's no ghosts, there's no buybacks. Raven has meta in 10 seconds or so. They're lucky that they actually have tier two towers in their other lanes, otherwise this could this would probably be two sets. No, I mean, they're lucky they have a repair kit. They slowed down a little bit. Nice. Not enough overall, and again, they've caught him out. DJ. Radiance middle tower. I guess a bit of the cast is cursed, really, you know? We were taught he was having a great game, great bomb. Okay. We were like, DJ trying his best. Oh, wait, they just lost the game. GG. <laughs> it's Radiance all over. It's all over this game three, Geek Fam. They're going to take it. They're going to take it. Raven Terrorblade at the end of the day. You can't mess up against it. You can't mess up against it. Otherwise, you'll just lose your action, lose the tier force, you'll lose the game. Fisher jump in and then die. Savage. Oh, he's away. They turn for Japs. They'll take Japs. He's going to try and go for it. Okay, he's got in. He has gone in. He's trying for one, but he's been stunned. Silent Savage. He's a good one. He's on top of him and it's, he's dead. He's dead. That was it. That was it. That was it. That, I mean, that was it. That was their attempt there to do something. Maybe. They've just killed the point. They've just killed the Ember. DJ, he's the magic, maybe, that may give them a shot here. Zephyr and Raven, they're both low. The Raven more Zephyr and Raven. Raven is turning. DJ's trying to step back forward. They do manage to take another down, but Raven is cleaning up. Raven is cleaning up big time. It's a triple kill for the anti mage. Make that an ultra. As it's, I mean, Raven versus DJ really is it? That's, that's sort of the story of this series, is they're the last two left alive at the end of that. Stays till the end, and now Moon. Oh, he should be fine. Spotted. There's no finger. There's no finger, but there is a Raven. Never mind. There's an angry anti mage on his way over. Moon's actually going to commit with the dragon form. Uh, that's, uh, oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. He's still dead, though. Oh, he's holding him in place. He goes down. Savage trying to commit for White Mon. The stuns are out. Snapfire jumps over the cookie, though. They're going to be able to keep Savage fine. He jumps the strike, gets the kill. But now the root in place. Raven, he jumps in straight away, able to commit on Savage. Savage dead is a triple kill for Carl. Over the wall. Ice, Ice, Ice. They go. As Ice, 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 he's desperately running. But Geek Fam, they'll keep on chasing. Like that, that should be enough, right? The rapier may be a, a little over. Kill it's when it comes to the one shot. All right, they're setting up for bottom tower being healed up. Oh, that's he been in. Raven, he's in. He's in straight away. Savage needs help, but he needs it now. The BKB comes out. Savage trying to turn with the Fisher, but he's rooted in by the Dream Call. Savage, he's panicking. Could he get out? DJ tries to jump in with the Echo, but it's just not enough damage at all. Savage will be able to escape, but DJ loses his life for it. Jabs as well will be chased out. Tries for the TP, but they have the vision. The Hex comes out. Jabs goes down. Savage still being chased by Cuckoo and Raven. And they'll end up getting him anyway. Cuckoo in with a Silence Raven in with the mana void. Three dead on Fnatic as they try to push that tier one. Finally getting the confidence to come out and look for objectives. But Geek Fam just giving them a painful reminder of how strong Geek Fam. And now Raven with this leveler, with this AC finished up, taking out this last set. There's the buyback from Savage. 
What can they do? Dagon Blast onto Ice Ice Ice. Raven commits onto the Sapphire. The Sapphire's down. Instant buyback from Ice Ice Ice. Moon trying to control Kuko on the back lines. But K and Raven turn over onto him. The Mortimus Kiss is coming out. Fisher out. On for two of them. K getting a little bit low, but deep by the fountain. They're getting played around with K charging forward. Savage will turn. Strike out onto K. Brings him low. Jabs. Finds the Fire Blast. They'll take the Aegis out of the hands of K. They killed the Ember once. Jump forward for Savage. He's looking for the puck, but it's not enough damage even with the Enchant Turner to take down this 4k HP punk is cool. keeping mind. Raven tries to go in and gets stunned up with the Dragon Tail of Moon. They're trying to keep Savage alive, but he's silenced. The Raven's in. The Abyssal Blade from Raven. They blow up Savage. Savage is down and out. GG is called as Geek Fam are your one esports SEA League champions with this game for victory. And they take the best of five, three to one. And I mean, this, this fourth game, it was nothing less than just a pure highlight reel for Geek Fam, really. They. they March finds Zephyr, Carl as well, throws out the ulti, March throwing down a bunch of Plague Wards. Is this where they want to fight? Now they're running up high ground into Vision, but is it going to work? Stun there on it too, turning to try and fight, Avalanche toss, the combo comes out, but the Yule Scepter keeps two up and survivable. There's the mute afterwards on to the Nature's Prophet, so his BKB is going and there's the buyback. They need a hell of a lot of them because they've already lost three. Doom is dropping down lower and lower and they eventually kill off the Sand King as well. But the turn now on to Gabby and with the chase. Oh no, the turn around though, the Abyssal Blade. They find the tiny, he bought back and he is going to die back. An ultra kill for Raven. Nothing, nothing at all is going to be able to stop him as March is chased. There's one Rampage looking for a second one after as well. And as emphatically as you can possibly say it, Raven is beyond godlike. What a player.